In this video we will take a look at method channels in Flutter with Android. We will create an app which will load the device ringtones from Android side and send them back to Flutter side. To get started, create a new Flutter project and open inside VS Code or Android Studio. Before proceeding with Flutter implementation, let's first implement the Android side. Open the Android project inside Android Studio. Override the configure Flutter engine method and choose a unique name for the channel. I have choose Flutter channel. We will use this channel from Flutter side to send and receive messages. Then set method call handler on method channel object. This handler accepts function with two arguments. First one contain the information about the function and the parameter we send from Flutter side. And the second one is the result object which we will use to send the success or failure message to Flutter. In this method we will check which method is called from Flutter side. In our case, we only have a single method which is get ringtones. We will create a get all ringtones method which will return the list of ringtones and then we will return these ringtones to Flutter side using the result object. Inside get all ringtones method, we will create an object of ringtone manager and set the type to ringtone because there are also alarm and notification ringtones which we don't want to get. Then we need a cursor to loop through all the ringtones and immutable list to store their names. Then inside the while loop which will run until there are ringtones, we will get the the ringtone name and add it inside our list and at the return the list. Import all the packages and classes to remove the errors. Now we are done with Android side. Inside main.dart file, create a column widget inside the body of scaffold. The column will contain an elevated button which will be responsible to get the ringtones from Android side. To get the ringtones, create a method channel object with same channel name you used in Android. Then call the get ringtones method using the method channel object. This will return list of ringtone names so to store them, we need a list. Assign the received list of ringtone names to this list but since it is an asynchronous operation, we need to await this. To show the ringtones, we will create a list view but this will be only visible if ringtones list is not empty. Item count will be equal to the ringtones length. For now let's just return the index of the list to check if our ringtones are loading or not. Try to get the ringtones. Nothing happened because we have not update our state to display the list. After getting the ringtones, call the setState method to update the state. Something happened but not what we want. Let's check the console. We got a vertical unbound height exception because we are using list view inside a column. To fix this, wrap the list view inside expanded widget. Our ringtones are loaded. Now let's display their names and try to play them. Replace the text widget with list tile and inside the title property, pass the current ringtone name but first, let's assign it to variable to make it clear. Wrap the list tile with a card widget to elevate it and give some horizontal padding to the list view. I want to play the ringtone as user tap on the list tile. So inside the onTap callback, we will play the ringtone. To play the ringtone, add flutter sound light dependency inside pubspec.yaml file and get the dependencies. Create an object of flutter sound player and inside onTap callback, open the audio session. This is an asynchronous operation so await it. This may return a nullable so assert it will null assertion operator for now. Call the start player method, which will accept the path of audio but we only have names to the ringtones. So interpolate the name with this path and add OGG as extension since ringtones has this extension by default. Also set the codec as opus OGG. Restart the app and we are done. And make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.